The condition of Rio de Janeiro's coastal waters has proven to be a big headache for authorities ever since the city was awarded the Olympic Games in 2009. The promised cleanup goals have long since been abandoned, and Rio's water remains as polluted as ever, which could mean serious health risks for competitors. A pessoa que cair dentro da água, numa água que esteja contaminada, ela vai estar exposta a ter micose, até problemas de gastroenterite, diarreia, pode ter conjuntivite, inflamação da vista, pode ter hepatite, hepatite A. Então, são todas doenças é, associadas à, à veiculação hídrica. And while the Olympics have highlighted the risks that competitors face, little has been said about the thousands of people who rely on the sea surrounding Rio to make a living. 45 minutes from the glitz and glamour of Rio de Janeiro's famous beaches and tourist attractions is Brazil's oldest fishing colony, where men and women have lived using traditional fishing methods for over a century. Life in the colony, however, is changing, and the once vibrant community is struggling to keep its little economy afloat. Mesmo quando o cara até consegue pegar, tá poluído, porque tá cheio de metal pesado, chumbo, cromo, mercúrio. Então é, é muito perigoso. Então as pessoas já não começam a comprar esse tipo de coisa daqui. Luis Fernando has fished in the Bahia de Guanabara his whole life, enjoying what was once a bountiful haul with tides and currents that ensured a good supply of fish and shrimp. But this is changing as more and more untreated sewage and industrial waste flows into the bay. A Bahia de Guanabara está muito assoreada, entendeu? O pessoal joga de tudo aí, está tudo cheio de lama, negócio de esgoto, eles não, não dragam. Fernando's future remains uncertain, and he's forced to wake up earlier and travel further each day to catch the fish that used to be so plentiful in Rio's once pristine murky waters. The Olympics should have been a lifeline for people like Luis Fernando, but authorities failed to deliver the cleanup they'd promised, and there's a lot more at stake here for the men and women of the Bahia de Guanabara than a gold medal. George Powell, Channel News Asia, Rio de Janeiro.